The administration is looking at options. If you're going to invest a few billion dollars in a wall, you want to get the right design. So, four prototypes named yesterday, four more next week. Each company is going to build a 30 foot long, up to 30 foot high prototype. Now, what you see here is going to be the Yuma sector. When you think of the border, don't think of the Great Wall of China. That's not idea. So here in Yuma, you have a primary wall at the border, a wide stretch where then agents in the middle can patrol up to 50 miles an hour in their vehicle. Then you have a tall secondary fence in the middle. You have cameras, lights, and sensors to detect a breach. That is the design that they're going to use. Now, only here, the secondary wall is going to be concrete. The purpose is to slow people down long enough for agents to arrive before they try to breach the secondary fence. These prototypes, which are intended to deter illegal crossings, will help us refine, refine the design standards and security requirements that will meet the needs of the U.S. Border Patrol. So there are nine sectors along the southwest border. I've been to all of them. They range in places to no fence, to a barbed wire, to something substantial. So obviously concrete, solid concrete, that'd be different. Shannon? Okay, so William, obviously they're going to have a big fight about this on Capitol Hill. It's looming after the recess. So how much money are we talking about? Well, a lot. Uh, they're not talking about walling the entire 2,000-mile border. That's not needed, not possible. So currently, we have about 350 miles of fence. Each prototype is going to be tested in San Diego against concrete saws, ladders, pneumatic hammers, etc. Now, each prototype is going to cost four to 500000 The entire program, about $20 million. This year, Congress appropriated $341 million to repair existing fence. The administration wants another $1.6 billion this year for 74 miles of new barrier and 2.6 billion next year. All of this is controversial, as you said, complicated, maybe compromised because of the price tag of Hurricane Harvey. Back to you, Shannon. All right, William Longinus, thank you very much.